So, meron tayong special treat ngayon from two brands. Realme and Oppo. Tripala with home credit. Kaya po tayo naka-red ngayon. Different from the usual. Kasi guys, 10 years na po si home credit. And meron siya na special promotion this season. Which is called home credit. Zero fest. Pero wait lang, hanggang January 31, 2024 lang po to ah. Go check shoppingmall.ph to know more about the latest deals of home credit and to check the nearest store near you. Meaning, 0% interest po sila for these two phones if you decide to buy them. Huh? Pwede tayo magbenta ngayon. This is an actual review of these two phones. Pero syempre, na-review ko na to. Dito tayo magkofocus ngayon. Ito medyo pricey to. And uh, this is actually the only Oppo phone I have reviewed this year. Oh my God! And I think this is the only Kasi feeling ko, nag-aalangan si Oppo na magpa-review sa atin kasi nga yung mga ibang phones nila ay medyo mataas yung presyo at hindi ganun ko okay yung specs. Pero kasi once you get to the this kind of pricing, flagship na yung labanan. No? Hindi na po yung specs, but yung technology. How good is the camera technology on this phone? Because that is what makes it a true flagship device. And this could be your next phone kasi nga, meron tayong installment dito na 0% interest from HC Home Credit. And without further ado, let's be and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Uh -huh. Now, hindi po ito yung tunay na flagship ni Oppo. Si Oppo Find X6 Pro po yun, pero exclusive po yun sa China. Globally, ito po yung pinaka-flagship nila. Si Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus 5G. Aba, si Realme. Realme lang, tapos yung number. Pro Plus 5G. Ito may, may Reno to. Ayan, so longer and mas bonga yung box. Kaya po merong malaking promo dito si home credit kasi 10 years na po daw siya. That's right. Lumabas po siya noong 2013. And since then, marami na pong umutang sa kanya. The Steam Ejector Pin. Safety Guide. Uy, ganda ng kanyang casing. This is rubber. Rubber, no? Mm. And here is that powerful phone. OMG. That looks so stunning. But, but, uh, whoop, later, later. And underneath, we're getting a massive, massive 100 watt charger. Super Vulk 3.0 na po to. Super fast charging. And of course, USB Type C cable. And that is pretty much it. So, ito pa yung phone, no? I think meron siyang dalawang colors. Meron siyang purple na glossy. At meron tayong silver na matte finish yung kanyang likod. This one actually looks really stunning. Mukha po talaga siyang flagship device. And it also feels like one. This could be Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. Test na natin. Pukpuk na natin. <laughs> yes, it definitely looks like pretty much every Oppo Reno series. Reno 10, Reno 10 Pro, and even yung kanilang A series, magkakamuka po sila this year. Kahit po yung kanilang Oppo A18 ito. Although, syempre, mas malaki talaga yung flagship camera. Nung flagship device nila. And iPhone yung kanyang katawan. Ito, flagship to flagship talaga. So meron tayong 3D curved back dito. Glass back po yan. Very matibay. Very premium ang build. When you hold it, talagang it does feel like what you paid for. And right in the front, we are getting a very nice and premium 3D curved display din. Na 2K resolution. The specs are just crazy on the display. 1240 by 2772. 120Hz refresh rate po to. And 100% DCI-P3, 100% sRGB, 1 billion colors, 10 bit na po yan, 450 ppi. Meron na pa siyang HDR10+. Plus. Typical brightness indoors 500 pero with HDR content, can go up to 1,400 nits of brightness. And the processor that's powering all of this is the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip. So, so powerful, but bakit ka pa magaganito? Kung meron naman mga mid-range na meron na Snapdragon and 1 na mas mura. Also, meron na ring 3D curve display na mura din ngayon. The real reason why you're actually buying these kind of phones, yung mga flagship, is for the camera. Ito yung hindi talaga kayang i-replicate, no? Ng mga murang phone. You actually need the extra R&D to put out a dedicated imaging chip to improve the image quality that makes it stand out from the rest. Which is ito. Ito na yun, no? Nakalagay ito. Powered by Mary Silicon X chip po yan. It is an NPU, an imaging chip that you will never get on a mid-range phone or an entry level. It is reserved for their best of the best na smartphones. Even si Realme, yung Realme 11 Pro Plus 5G, wala pong, wala pa siyang dedicated. By the way, ano pala yung camera niya? Ito po. Yung kanyang pinaka main sensor is a Sony IMX 890 50 megapixel sensor. Meron pa siyang ultra wide angle lens, 8 megapixel, Sony IMX 355 sensor yan. And lastly, meron po tayong telephoto lens, 64 MP Omnivision sensor. That can go up to 120x digital zoom. Pero up to 6 times lang na optical zoom, take note. And immediately, these are the pictures that we got 
using this phone. So the main difference between ito and yung mga, let's say for example kay Realme, napansin ko sa mga mid-range guys is talagang over-processed yung mga pictures. Although it's actually nice looking, very dreamy, pang Instagram agad, it will never give you accurate colors. Kung professional ka dyan, hindi, hindi ka dapat kukuha ng mga chuchu na phone. You actually need to buy these kind of camera phones. Mag-invest ka kung gusto talaga ng natural colors, real image processing, and yung almost DSLR-like na image quality. And that is what you'll get with the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus 5G. Of course, syempre, first look pa lang, no? Talagang ang natural lang dating, especially in skin tone, it looks so nice and warm and true to life yung kanyang itsura. Look at the shirt here on this beautiful girl. Grabe yung details. Grabe yung background blur. Mas natural po yung kanyang background blur. Let's say, for example, compared to the Realme 11. Also, yung low light talaga yung talaga dito. Talagang whenever it is faced with low light sceneries, talagang kayang-kaya niyang i-process para further to improve yung itsura ng image. Also, meron siyang OIS, so mas matindi yung kanyang uh, stabilization and mas magiging consistent yung mga pictures niya dito compared sa, some, let's say, something na wala. Lalo na at uh, medyo mauga ang ating mga kamay kapag uh, nagpipicture tayo, especially kapag uh, medyo stretch na. You actually need an OIS camera. And fully stacked din yung kanyang camera app. And portrait has so many features inside of it. You can even adjust the depth of field. But the pro mode, the pro mode is what makes this an ideal pick from amongst the sea of supposedly flagship devices. no? Because this pro mode allows you to do so much more. My histogram na po siya within the app. The settings you're able to tweak here are massive. ISO, shutter speed, the focus, white balancing, even the aspect ratio, pwede mong pagawin dito. Kaya napansin ko yung kanyang highlights, guys, is parang medyo blown out in some parts, no? Which I guess could be something na it depends on your preferences talaga. If you actually want yung matinding processing ng mga, kasi kahit yung mga ganito, guys, mga mid-range talagang in over nila, binabalance out nila as much as possible yung uh, exposure, which leads to unnatural na itsura. Kung gusto mo talaga yung natural look, talaga natural yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang mga highlights and shadows, you will get that on the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus 5G. Sa selfie, ito na may itsura niya. Uy, selfie expert talaga. Without a doubt, taking selfies on this phone is incredible. Master na yan ni Oppo. And meron pa siyang 0.6x na ultra wide sa kanyang selfie. Kung gusto mo ng mas maraming uh, makuha dun sa inyong Katawan. Kaya lang guys, up to 1080p, 30 frames per second lang yung kanyang selfie video, which is actually okay na. If you actually need a 4K 60 frames per second power, rear camera po ang pwedeng gumawa nun. 4K 60 frames per second available po sa kanyang rear camera. Ito po yung tsura niya. And you can also turn on stabilization, pero up to 1080p, 60 frames per second lang yung kaya niya dun sa kanyang video with stabilization. But apart from that, that is actually pretty much everything that you need to know about the camera. Kung ako ang uh, magjudge nito, mas maganda pa yung kanyang camera kasi kay Nothing Phone 2, kaysa kay Vivo V29, and on par po siya kay OnePlus 11 in terms of image quality. It actually makes sense if they're very similar. Not only in camera, but also yung itsura ng phone. So very smooth po yung display niya, no? 120Hz refresh rate display po siya. Ano yan? Shane? Philippines? What What are you recommending me? Ah, siguro para hindi mas ubert yung kanilang ito. Kaya ginagawa something very strenuous. Game, as a gaming, oh man. Yes, it has a 120Hz refresh rate display. 240Hz touch sampling rate na po yan. But what impresses me the most is yung kanyang display. Kapag nanonood ng YouTube, guys, ang natural po ng itsura ng mga movies, videos, ang warm po ng tone ng color niya. It actually looks really nice to look at. Ang bright din ng display with HDR 10 plus content. Grabe yung brightness na lumalabas dito kapag ka HDR movies and videos. And baka gusto mo rin siyang gamitin for Mobile Legends. Meron siyang ultra graphics and super refresh rate agad-agad. And of course, syempre din na yung mag-frame drop. Sobrang kayang-kaya na po niya si Mobile Legends. Ang smooth po ng gameplay dito at saka ang high resolution ng kanyang graphics. And finally, yes, sa Call of Duty, it does have the 90 frames per second mode. Pero hindi po siya maging very high graphics. Meron pa tayong ultra frame rates na, which is never available for mid-range phones. Sa mga tunay na flagship lang po siya, binibigay ni Call of Duty. And kayang-kaya na po, kasi nga naka-flagship processor po siya is Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. It's able to play this game smoothly as you can see. Sobrang smooth niya. Ito yung madaya, no? Kung gusto mo talagang maangas yung laro mo, yung talagang makakasabay sa bilis na kamay mo. There is none other for ultra frame rates, 90 FPS. Get the advantage. Go get the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus 5G. And of course, uh, Genshin Impact, highest settings, kaya-kaya niya po. 60 frames per second. Kanya po kalupit yung Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Habat na rin ang pangalan. Bruh! Ismooth na ismooth na po yan. Huh?
Kung gusto mo talaga maglaro ng Genshin Impact at the best graphics possible also. By the way, yung kanyang Antutu benchmark, 1.1 or almost 1.2 million. Impressive talaga tong phone na to. And it's even got 100 watts fast charging. So yeah, almost kompleto na yung kanyang flagship uh, specs right here. Pero yung camera talaga niya. The reason why we'll get this is for the camera. Speak of the camera, what if wala kang masyadong budget talaga dito, no? Uh, we have here that is easily one of the best, could be the best camera that you can buy for less than 14,000 pesos, which is the Realme 11. Ayan. Aso na review ko na to, so, sobrang tindi nung kanyang camera, no? And matindi rin yung itsura, no? It's timeless gold color. In terms of processor, diba, or performance, there could be a lot of other options there for you, pero there is nothing out there that is as good as the Realme 11 in terms of yung sa kanyang camera sa gitong klaseng presyo. Really, ito na po yung kanyang camera. The camera on this thing is 108MP na po. Ito po yung mga pictures niya. Sobrang solid. Although, yun nga, meron siyang overprocessing na ginagawa. Enhancing colors, very vibrant. Pero ang lakas ng dating. Talagang Instagram ready agad. Kapag nagpicture ka from the Realme 11. Ito yung masabi ko na, you're always confident when you're taking pictures from this phone. Ito pa yung mga ibang ano, photos ha. Matindi rin yung dynamic range. Matindi po lahat. Yun nga lang yung color ng uh, skies. Too blue for me. And uh, ito, dito na malabas yung overprocessing na sinasabi ko. Pero if you actually like what you see, it's actually the best at what it does sa kanyang price range. Mostly malinis yung mga photos na nakuha namin with just one shot. You will get beautiful, dreamy, bokehlicious, very likable photos on Instagram. Ito pa yung Helio G99 processor. 8256 na. Glory Gold. And the charging, 67 watts fast charging na pala siya. Mabilis mo charge and 5,000 mAh of battery na rin po. Si Realme 11. Ipipredict ko na yung kanyang successor. Ipipredict ko na siya kung sino yung kanyang successor. Kasi last year Realme 10. Next year Realme 12. Speak of 12, up to 12 months to pay. Okay, home credit. By the way, the price of the Realme 11 is 13,999 peso. Pero pwede mo siyang install 8256 na po siya. Si Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus 5G, 39,999 pesos, 12,256. Again, hanggang January 31, 2024 lang po to guys. Both of these phones ay pasok dun sa home credit, zero fest, which means 0% interest po siya if you decide to go for the installment option using home credit dapat ha kay home credit lang po available yung installment na 0% kung matagal mo na tong inaay kulang pa ang inyong 13th month 0% interest could be 12 months to pay Realme 11 timeless design go get yourself an Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus 5G or a Realme 11 sana lang next year magkaroon pa si home credit ng mga ganito for more phones and more gadgets Again, kaya po meron ganito si Home Credit kasi nga 10 years na po siya in the industry. It came out way back 2013 at ito po yung 10th year na po. So, 10 year anniversary na po siya kaya po may ganito siyang promo. While you still have the chance. And while you still have the chance to subscribe, subscribe na po sa aming uh, channel and hit that bell icon. And I'll see you on our next video. Sa Pazibins and you're watching Unbox Ooh.